Hello friends, it's uh, Abhishek and in this screencast I'll demonstrate how to use the new feature provided by CH 5.0 which is uh, await and async and how to do this uh, asynchronous uh, programming so I'll take a very uh, simple example where uh, I'll create a WCF service which will be consumed by any other client application Okay, so let's start. Uh, for the demonstration purpose, I am using uh, Visual Studio 2012. This is a trial version. You can also download it from MSDN website. And I'll create a con uh, first of all a WCF service. So for this is a very simple WCF uh, service application I am creating so that it will give me all the required. Uh, boilerplate code itself so it's like uh, we have uh, some service contract with us with some methods like get data which takes an integer value and returns a string that you have entered what value also it also provides me some web.config so it's already hosted so in this solution I'll add another project where I will try to consume this service so if you uh, we can build this okay and um, I can add another project so for just uh, for a simple uh, demonstration purpose I'll use a console application you can use any other application maybe a WPF application or a Silverlight application okay so this is my console application and in this console application I want to invoke the the service provided by this WCO service 2 which is this get data okay so in this console application first of all I'll make this project the uh, startup project and I'll add a service reference so I'll discover the service reference which is already available in this solution so and go I'll go to this advanced tab and I want to generate uh, asynchronous operations also so the benefit of this uh, asynchronous operation uh, when I check uh, click this checkbox so radio button then it also generates uh, various asynchronous methods which we can use it in our application okay so then it will generate this uh, app.config file also here you can see that we have already added the service reference now in the program.cs I'll, I'll uh, first of all traditionally what uh, we would have done that uh, let's suppose uh, we have a get data method and I'll just quickly generate a method stuff okay and um, uh, I want to if I want to invoke the service in the service reference one I'll just create a client first of all so this is my service one client and uh, new service one reference dot client I can I can pass the binding information also but because it is only single service reference so it's not needed and uh, I'll name it maybe a client and uh, for asynchronous uh, method uh, I want to invoke this uh, get data async and to grab the result okay I'll pass some value maybe 5 to grab the result I'll add uh, this handler so Visual Studio will automatically generate this and here we can actually grab the result by using e dot result so maybe uh, result from traditional Obviously you can uh, have the delegate over here also 
but this is basically a two part where first of all there is a, this is where you call it this is the asynchronous call and uh, if you want to grab the results you have to add this so c hash uh, 5.0 it provides another very clean method that uh, i'll demonstrate and uh, so i'll quickly just copy this and get data cleaner so what i'll do is that i'll put a keyword which is async and uh, i don't need this now and if i want to get the result also so i'll use a uh, keyword which is await let me just copy this okay so traditional result from new async feature and what i want to do is that uh, await and this await actually takes a task so what actually we have to do is that uh, we have this uh, uh, client uh, begin get data and end get data these are the callbacks and we have to wrap it in or into a task because this await is actually it has to be associated with a task so i'll create a task uh, of which returns a string and uh, i'll name it as uh, get uh, data task async sorry and uh, this should be a task of a string and i'll generate it using this factory from async and here we will pass all the callbacks so it will be the client dot begin get data client dot end get data and then the parameters suppose i want to uh, pass on 5 you can also pass some user state here you can see that so for the just simple demonstration i'll use a null okay and now actually i can put uh, the this task which uh, i had just created this is get data async okay so here we are not uh, having the two part one for uh, asynchronous call another for uh, grabbing the results i'm just uh, having a single so i'll just quickly comment out this so i am creating what exactly we are doing is creating a task which is nothing but a wrapper class which is uh, wrapping all this begin and end get data get data callbacks and uh, then i am trying to invoke it so let's try it out so rather than get data cleaner okay so let's start it So after some time here you can see that we found uh, both the results one for uh, this uh, traditional as well as for the new async one more thing actually it also does that uh, suppose uh, if the client operation uh, if you trying to invoke some uh, uh, services or any other thing actually if it takes much time then then only it will be translated into uh, you can see into a asynchronous version otherwise it will directly return you the output so here we can see that uh, it's a very clean way to do asynchronous programming so thanks a lot